journey to the dark side begun of you, yeah? How do YouTube? I just want to touch on a few things that um, building has taught me. Um, <laughs> for one, the conventional vehicles don't work. It <laughs> it's amazing how you try and build a car and y you get destroyed. Um, so I've found that you can hide things within the frame itself, um, but it will go boom if it gets caught, especially things like engines, fuel tanks and stuff like that. Um, grills or anything normally with the name grill in it, bullets will go through it. Uh, it's worth having fuel tanks on there though because if you win you get fuel. If you end up with loads of it you can sell it in the marketplace to start you know, getting gold up so you don't have to pay. Uh, with this front end I wanted to protect the cab because once the cab goes that's it. doesn't matter how much armor you've got on it, if that cab gets destroyed it's game over. So with this I wanted to have a cannon at the front where I can have the barrel sticking out but the base of the gun protected. So hopefully um, even though the gun's open it'll still remain protected by the armor. Um, you want to try to get the armor that you're putting on in full anchor points but with this it'll end up too high or too low and I want to try and protect my wheels. Now the thing with wheels as well is if you have loads of wheels you're going to have no power. It won't really affect the speed but you'll notice going up hills, even the shortest of hills, is a nightmare. It, you just don't have, the more wheels you put on there the less power the cab will have. You'll find that especially with the early on cabs like the vans and things. If you put, try do an experiment where you put 10 wheels on it and try and go up one of the hills. There we go, I'm putting my fuel tank in. Now, the one good thing about loading up with fuel tanks is you can only use one, the effect will not stack. So, but if you put a lot of fuel tanks on, once, if you can get close enough to an enemy, you can self destruct by pressing in th both thumbsticks and hopefully go boom and take your enemy with you. Coupled with engines and other things that you put on there, they all explode. But like on mine, because everything is at the back, I would have to be practically backing into whoever I'm trying to blow up. Another tip to do is, to, like I've done with this, is try and put all the parts you want to use around the vehicle. That way, you know, you're not going to run out of things, <laughs> or not space, but... Um, your total parts because early on you only start with I think is it 35 I think um, go with some of the basic vehicles and take them apart so that you, you can see how they're made um, with mine I haven't loaded up on all the top end weapons because my player score or power score is already quite high and you go too high and you end up facing against people that have got much better equipment, higher parts available to them, and you're not go you you're gonna get nailed quite badly. <laughs> I'd done my cardinal sin on this and ran out of my parts. I should have had all my weapons out at the same time as my parts so I wouldn't have to remove anything. But what I want to show you here is I'm going to place this quite strong armor piece on top of something that's a little weaker um, to show you its lasting capability even though I'm using full anchor points on it I'm going to leave that one where it is and shoot it with the auto cannon just so you can see um, how uh, what the difference is and different things you need to bear in mind with now I've not come up all the way with the auto cannon you know like I have with the cannon at the front because I want to be able to aim down if somebody comes nose on with me. Oh, back up a bit. Here we go. I reckon about... Oh, what? 15 shots? I hope if I could hit a white whale on a black background. Come on, lad. But you'll see the difference here now when I shoot this.
gone. So, <laughs> it, it's something to bear in mind. I mean, these canvases are great because it protects your cab and you might get, <laughs> get away with a couple of blasts against it that would normally go through and destroy things. <laughs> At least it works as disposable armor. That's the way to think about it. It doesn't last long and don't place things on top of it. So have a go and see what you what you can create and I hope this helps somebody um, get over some of the hurdles that you'll face with your building. Just don't go too much too soon. Start off slow, get your parts uh, and yeah you're going to grind it but this game has me hooked so bad. Rocky Road?